I was sleeping. Um, these are the candles I was talking about that I lit. This was a box of Cheez-Its that I had sitting somewhere. Somehow my books are okay. Um, somehow there's a fucking, like, flammable thing here that could have caught on fire. I have a monitor here. This is just so stressful, like, my countertop is ruined. Thank God it's only the one that's over the sink, but it's still ruined, you guys. Like, this sucks. Like, I don't know. <sighs> so, needless to say, li this uh, living in the van or the RV, whatever, um, it's been a fucking journey. Like, I... I don't know it's been hard like I feel like if I were to be dealing with this in a house I would be so much more overwhelmed but I don't know like it's been a fucking it's been a, a wild ride so far and it's only been like look at my breath I don't know if you can see it but I don't know it's crazy it's been a I've learned a lot about myself um the first few days that I was living in here I did it was really hard on me and I was having a lot of anxiety and like depression symptoms and that really freaked me out because I've done a lot of work with myself up until now to like get all of that dealt with um and to really like gain control of my life again but I think this has really helped me um and I think this just shows how much I've grown like I literally slept through a fire that could have taken everything that I have away from me, but instead, like, I'm kind of laughing about it because it didn't end up horrible, but, you know, like, a year ago, if this would have happened to me, I would have probably had an instant panic attack, so, I don't know. I just wanted to post this little update in case anyone's wondering, but, yeah, so far it's been great. Obviously, what happened last night was not great, and I'm very lucky that I fucking, or, sorry, that I freaking, um that I didn't have my house burned down, dude. Like, that is crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Don't light candles if you live in an RV, especially if you're going to fall asleep. Because I don't even think I meant to fall asleep last night. Maybe I did. I can't really remember. But I think I just laid down and ended up sleeping. But I don't, like... I'm just trying to think because right above my little kitchen area where that happens um it's wood like i have wooden cabinets wooden cabinets underneath um underneath of that actually is uh, that countertop is where i store my empty propane bottles so that could have been scary too i don't know i'm kind of freaked out but also it's like i feel like i have someone you know watching over me in a way because like how did that not fucking light this on fire and if you know anything about my rv like if we're friends or whatever and you've been over you know there's a little something with my front door that would prevent me from exiting in a quick safe way right so if that did happen and i woke up god forbid surrounded in flames it would be extremely difficult for me to like get out quickly I would have to fucking do some stuff over there to be able to get out. And I do that for my own safety at night. But, yeah, that could have been bad. So I'm just really, like, happy that it worked out this way. But that's scary. And so I just wanted to post a little update for everybody.